the seed. They were thousands of years old. But when they were put in the ground and when the moisture caused them to germinate, they produced because the life was in the seed. Now, that no scientists or intelligent individuals are going to discredit what I just said because we know the life is in the seed. Amen? Uh, we should know. And most people believe it's in watching I Love Bruce Lee on television. But the life is in the seed. Now, Gregory Mendel, that uh, did a whole lot of study on seeds, and he lived uh, in 1822 to 1884, an uh, uh, Austrian botanist, and he came out with the law of segregation. And now, that's good law, law of segregation, not segregating whites and, from uh, blacks and blacks from red and all that. that that's not what he's talking about. He said, learning to segregate, now remember this was way back between 22 and 84 of the 1800s. And so Mendel, uh, the principal of stating that during the production of the gamut, a mature sexual reproductive cell, and a sperm or, or, or egg that unites with another cell to form a new organism. The two copies of each uh, hereditary factor segregate gates so that offsprings acquire one factor from each parent. All living things have got two parents. You've got to have male and female. Yes. Jim and Steve won't do it. Uh, right. Amen. Uh, yeah. Helen and Mary won't do it. It takes male and female. Yes. Doesn't make any difference. What are you trying to produce? Almonds? Uh, what are you trying to produce? Carrots? What are you trying to produce? Cherries? Uh, or were you trying to produce a little baby? It takes a male and a female. Anything else is a violation of natural law. Had nothing to do with my prejudice. It happened to do with the natural laws that control the reproduction of the universe. And the only value anything or anyone has <coughs> is the ability to reproduce. Yes. yes. Hello. Reproducing its own kind. Now... That's what they listen to what that, that Bendel said. The factors segregate so that offspring acquire one factor from each parent. So he, he tried to hybridize, making a hybrid. And whenever they made a hybrid, you know what they did? They, they interfered with the seed. You know what happens when they interfere with the seed? Nature said it ain't going to continue. Somebody put a horse and a donkey out in the lot together and they produced a mule. My daddy, when I was a kid, we had an a, a old uh, mule. I think one of them was Blue, uh, named Blue and the other Hazel or whatever it was. Uh, and, and did you know something about a mule? That's it, honey. They ain't no more. They can't reproduce. Glory to God. What are you trying to say? I am trying to tell you that Eve was the mother of all living, and we don't have to take back seat to some idiotic college professor that still thinks he came from a chimpanzee swinging in a tree somewhere. That's the reason why the world is so screwed up. Amen. To amen, not a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Now. Uh, the Bible said, let the earth bring forth. Genesis 1, 24 and uh, 25. Genesis 1, 24 and 25. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures after his kind. Cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. You, you can go into the oceans, and we've been in a lot of different oceans, and you, you'll find all kind of creeping things. Matter of fact, there's some creeping things in Washington. I won't name them this morning, but listen to what the, the, the book said. All kind of beasts of earth after his kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind. And everything that creepeth upon the earth 
after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Ever living being after his own kind, and God saw that it was good. Now, that there was a difference when it came to man. Glory to God. God made man in his own image, in his own life. Now, what's the difference between the lower beast and the intelligent beast that tries to act like a monkey? What, what is the difference? Well, man, a homo sapien, has the ability to change his environment. Glory to God. I, I remember we had those little water coolers up there. We all came to church. Man, we'd stay here three or four hours, five, six nights a week. Amen. Now we've got air conditioning. We, we can change our environment. And I thank God for that. But, but our children are so used to it, they don't know how mama and daddy suffer. Kids get married, they think first thing that they're supposed to have, new three-bedroom home, brand new carpet, brand new uh, Western house refrigerator, kitchen aid range, uh, and uh, why, why don't they have it? I had it at home. Well, go back and ask your mom and daddy how long it took to get it. Go back and ask them how long they scraped uh, and saved. They didn't have a, a, a American Express Platinum card to go buy whatever they wanted to do. They had to go to Sears and Rare Bank and put it on layaway. Amen. Yes. Lord, I've got to listen to what man was made in God's image. Uh, all others were produced after their kind. God made man in his image. All others were produced after their own kind. Why? Because man is the highest pinnacle of God's creation. Yes. yes. It's not God's fault because we don't act like it. That's right. Well, he, he thought so much of Adam and Eve that he said, I have given you power over your environment. People get all upset at, at these people going in there, Greenpeace and all that, because they got so many freaky ones flying and swinging out of trees. Uh, have you ever seen these freaky church people flying in and out of trees? Uh, world coming in, going to be raptured out, going to, um, my God, read the Bible and find out what it says. Amen. Hello? Yes. Amen. Somebody said, well, nobody likes you. I, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the truth that will make yes. me free. Yes. You're liking me is not going to set me free. That's right. You're liking me and not going to change me any. Amen. But the truth will make me free. I don't have to live in ignorance. I, I can walk in the truth of God's word. Listen to what it said. Genesis 3.15. The seed of the woman <laughs> is going to bruise the serpent's head. The seed of the woman. Jesus was the seed of God. The Holy Ghost overshadowed the Virgin Mary. She conceived and brought forth a man child in the image and the likeness of God. We have been created in the image and the likeness of God. Did you know you're a whole lot more valuable than you think you are? I'm not talking about narcissistic self-love. I'm talking about understanding who you are in the sight of God. God yes. made Adam and Eve supreme of his creation. We're the ones that brought it down into damnation and the condemnation. And Jesus came to bring us out of that damnation and condemnation so that we could come into his his kingdom and experience yes. what he intended for Adam and Eve to have in the beginning. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now th this term seed is kova in the Hebrew means a life giver. Eve is a life giver. Glory to God. The mother not something that just uh, uh, cleans up after you and picks up after you and pets you and pamper you and, and, and want to make sure, oh, I hope that they uh, are, are going to grow and develop. Uh, you know what they need? They need the knowledge of knowing you can have what you want in life if you're willing to accept what comes with it. Yes, yes, amen. Hallelujah. I want everything, but I don't want to pay the price for everything. Listen to what the book said. The mother... Of all living, 